Hello there, this is Malak and welcome to episode 76 of my Minecraft Season 6. Um, I have done a little, 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 just a little thing. I basically got all my potatoes and just planted them all, because I've got a lot of wheat and bread. I kind of realized I've got a stack there, a stack in my inventory. I had all of these seeds, which is going to be great when I have chickens, you know, um, which is basically what today's episode is going to be. I am going to start the process of bringing animals into this facility. Um, I need a silk touch, ideally, to get grass, um, but, you know, I can, I can get chickens first without grass, I think. I mean, I don't think they need, need grass, like, super need. But either way, I need to start the process. Now, this process is multiple steps. So, just to remind those of you who may or may not have forgotten, um, the general idea will be, no, that's, that's the wrong way. This is the correct way, because that's the dangerous way. The idea will be is that I'm going to go through into the nether. I'm going to go off in a direction, a number of squares, probably through the wall. You know how I've got my little base in here. And I'm going to build another nether portal. It's going to be like a hundred blocks away or something like that. I don't know. Um, then I'm going to build another portal, exit into the above world, and hope that it's an area where animals are spawning. Animals seem to spawn nicely around where I am here. Hopefully that can continue. Um, then what I'm actually going to do, I need to go back down here. I'm actually going to be building a tunnel out to the side. Um, because there needs to be... I mean, no, no, not tunnel, that's the word. Brain, 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 brain. I need a... Basically, I will bring the animals through and I'm going to find a way <laughs> to, to bring them up. And it will probably be not to this level that I'm standing on, but the one level below. And then I'm going to take them through another set of corridors that I'm going to put between the domes straight underneath here into this underground area that I've got ready for them. Um, ooh, I think that's, that's potatoes. That's, that's potatoes. Potatoes are dead easy to see when they're ripe. They get really, really tall. Are they really tall? No, they're really, really tall. Um, brain is just miles away at the moment. So yeah, that's the general plan. So my first kind of challenge, I guess, is to go into the nether with some materials and actually build a thing. So I'm just going to grab some stuff um, and just basically see what I can get done. Um, I think I'll speed, instant health, I don't really need any of those specific things. Got so many, so many things. What I could probably do, I mean, actually, I've got so much obsidian. I mean, I don't need that much obsidian, but I've got that much obsidian. It works for me. Um, hang on, do I have any metal doors? No, I like metal doors. Metal doors are awesome. I think I can make a button. Yeah, it's one per smooth stone. Boink. And then we need six of those. We'll make some doors. I don't need that many, so I'm going to put, like, I don't know. Yeah, keep all of them. Whatever. Um, actually, then again, let's let's be sensible. So I've got some buttons, got some doors, got some obsidian for the portal at the other end. Stone bricks. Might as well grab a few more stone bricks because it's always going to be useful to have more. And at this point, it's time to go into the Nether. Whee. <coughs> So with any luck, when I go through the portal from the nether back to the above world, it'll be in an area that's got lots of nice things and not some underground hell. 
But if it is some kind of underground hell, I will just, like, nah. <laughs> so that's that chamber. So what I'm gonna do... Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, friend. Ah, I actually don't have gold on, so, well, if I end up murdering some pigmen, then that's their problem. Well, I'm not surprised that there's extra places in this direction. I'm not surprised at all. Um... And we might as well just grab the quartz while we're here. Let's see what we get. Black rock, some basalt, some soul soil of some sort. Okay. Got some glowstone over there. Dino hole! a reasonable amount of quartz. At the very least, I'm getting a good amount of quartz from my little journey. Oh, such epic music. So, I don't mind they're being a fair distance. And if I find some kind of back shortcut... Oh my god, I actually know where I am! This is kind of a back shortcut. <laughs> I love it. Oh boy, this is one of those biomes. Huh. Well, it's an interesting um, development. For sure, to be sure. I mean, I'm going to take a bit of a hit when I uh, drop from this height. Um, but I kind of feel like I can take it. Boy. Little shits. Ideally, I need to keep an eye on this pick, because I don't want to burn it out completely, you know? So the question is, where do I want to put the, um... Jeez! Oh, <laughs> Whee! I'm going to collect these mushrooms. What I should probably do. Is make sure that there's a nice easy way back up. 
much at the moment. I mean, it's relatively easy, but it's not obvious. The question is, how many blocks away is this? It's not very many. It really, really isn't. I need to make this a lot further. So what I'm going to do... While the spooky music plays... Let me just, just keep digging in this direction. Hmm. You know what? What if I go in this direction? Like, make the whole archway thing like I normally do. Let's put a little platform here. That's pretty blatant. That's pretty blatant. But this is kind of a cool direction as well. Huh. Looks like I have explored this way a little bit because there's my telltale cobble spire. This would have been one of my early explorations, I think. Oh, uh, hello. Oh no, goodbye. <laughs> Music. I will be forever impressed by the uh, the new music. It is very nice. Great thing is, of course, once I've um, eh, once I've uh, worn down this pick, I can make another one, and then hopefully combine. So we'll explore these little tunnels. These strange ass tunnels. <laughs> I mean, I know I've got plenty of magma blocks, but you never know whether or not they're useful for some other thing. Ow. Okay. 
Well, I don't think that's particularly useful. I think this little chamber would make a nice um, little portal room. Oh shit. <laughs> I do like the, the horrendous spam of these little guys. It's a nice enough little room. A lot of experience. I don't know why I've got a lot of experience doing. I mean, I know I've killed some some things, but I didn't think I'd done enough to gain significant experience. Oh. Spooky. Well, kind of spooky. M mildly spooky. Um, okay, well, since I'm kind of where I want to, where I want to be now. Actually, that's gaining me quite a lot of experience. Good old mining experience. It's actually surprisingly good. So I'm thinking here. Which means that... Okay. There we go. Now you might think, why are you doing this? I kind of just like it. That's probably not the best way of doing that. Sort of oversized portal. It's big portal. Let's see if it's actually worth it being here. It is... there's Peg! Okay. So, we have a portal. It's only an equal portal. There's a cow and a pig there. Seems I don't actually have a lead. It's a little bit... A hilly. There's mushrooms there. There's lots of trees. There's weird brown grass stuff. Okay. Um, hello, cow. Oh, you get to live. Whoa. What a weird biome this is. It's like... Ooh. 
That's kind of cool. What is this? There's like little... Little ruined bits of things. Yeah, look, there's, there's one over there as well. It's like bigger. This is a weird, weird biome. It's like it's... What is it? What's with all the ruins? The little cobble, little mossy cobblestone stuff. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's it's kind of cool. Fox doing fox things. I guess it's all the needles, the pine needles that come out of the uh, the pines. Um, are just toxifying the. So there's no grass growing. Because that's kind of what happens anyway when you end up with um, lots of pine needles gathering on a forest floor. It does suppress a lot of other things from growing there, but... Huh, okay. Well, it's not the an ideal location, but it's not a bad location. It's not bad at all. The fact that I've immediately seen a pig and a cow is a good sign that maybe I'll be able to start off my my animals. In fact, multiple cows. Okay. Well, what I can do is make it a lot easier through the careful application of... I mean, I could just punch this through the, the portal. Um... Okay. Well, it... the principle works. I just now need leads um, and a place to lure them to. So I would lead them through. So I'd, you know, snag a few animals. Pull them through. Again, still on the lead. May have to fiddle with, with this door a little bit to get them through, but I can, you know, I can faff about with that and hold it open. Drag them through here. So, so far, this is all nice and safe. This bridge, less safe, but... Yeah, it's a little bit exposed here. A little bit exposed. But again, it's not unworkable. I could create a, a shielded sort of tunnel, for want of a better term. I could literally do that with Netherrack. Because as much as Netherrack's pretty weak, um, it's not like there's a problem. It blocks, it blocks line of sight. And that's kind of all that's needed. The animals back this way. It all kind of works. It's all kind of working. Okay. It's not ideal, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. So then I'd have the animals in tow. I would then go through the um the, the the way through may end up creating another water lift just to get up there and then I can shove the animals in it you know what I mean just so that I've then got other ways of doing it once the animals are actually in the underwater home once they're through here even if they're down there or up on this floor it doesn't really matter um, it'll become a lot easier to, to lead them once they're here I just got to get them to that point. 
Right, I'm gonna put a few things away now. Now that I don't actually need them. Um, basalt can go in there. I mean, I have got a lot of netherrack. I don't need this much netherrack. I seem to still be accumulating it, though. <laughs> like it's going out of fashion. Which it isn't, by the way. It was never in fashion. Let's make some gold bars. Ink. Blop. Nether stuff. Magma. Lots and lots of quartz. Let's make some quartzy blocks. Yoink. We put the obsidian back in there. We put a door in there. Uh, the rest of what I've got in here is not irrelevant, but it's not good for here. Then again, actually. Yeah, in here, yeah, I actually have glowstone in here, even though it's nether related. Eh, I'm not particularly fussed. And then I need to go to the devourery to drop all this off. Okay, well let's actually go back through the farm in case the flourishing pasture has got some goodies. That looks, um, that looks better, and it is. It'll do. It'll do for now. Oh, that's a little bit higher than... Ugh, I can't judge that for hell, can I? I really, really am rubbish at that. I should probably just get some... That'll do. Ingredients. Mushrooms. That. That. And then finally, we're gonna do this. Ta-da! It's not fully grown them all, but it's it's pushed them forward a little bit, you know? Okay, right. I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, So, next mission. I guess I need a silk touch, don't I? Ugh, silk touch. Gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? But, I'm gonna need it, so... Yeah. Or a way to put grass somewhere. Oh, that that's definitely... Yeah, look at that. We have a spare potat. Potat! Right. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it for now. Um, and basically, that's it uh, for this episode. So, uh, I know it's a bit of a boring kind of producing the foundations for other things that are going to be more interesting but we we always have these uh we often have these these episodes where it's kind of it's not filler precisely but yeah it's it's not as as interesting but until next time guys farewell and of course cheerio <laughs>